I uh, expected to make landfall tomorrow along that west or southwest coast of Florida. It's a major hurricane right now and winds may strengthen a little bit tonight before it bumps into that coast. After that, we are expecting the track to go more northeast and then a turn north northeast, potentially just off the southeast coastline. So we'll give you a little more information here on that timeline. Here's the forecast position late Thursday, early Friday. Tropical depression Friday evening, then long gone as we move through Saturday. So the weekend forecast is improving as the forward path of Ian has picked up a little bit of steam here in maybe days three, four and five down across South Florida. Uh, deteriorating weather conditions there. Uh, very clear here. The eye of Hurricane Ian that track about 10 miles an hour to the north northeast tornado watch down there across South Florida. There have been numerous tornado warnings this evening. Now for our local area, let's focus in on our impacts. We have a storm surge watch, so that means the water starting to pile up near our coastline during the period of high tide Thursday and Friday. We may see those tide levels meet or exceed 10 feet, and that would be moderate coastal flooding. And if they would hit 10.8 feet, that's the current forecast for Friday's high tide, which is right around midday. That would be major coastal flooding. So two or three of those high tides, maybe around 10 feet. And again, some moderate to major coastal flooding. Pay very close attention to that if you live or reside in an area that is flood prone. What to wear forecast for tomorrow? All right, it's going to be a bit cool out there. The wind starts to pick up. Temperatures will fall during the evening. It's going to be breezy late in the day on Wednesday, and then winds would start to increase a bit more as we go from Wednesday into Thursday. Here are those future cast winds 8 p.m. on Wednesday. Uh, winds pretty general. The gusts at 20 to 30 miles per hour across our area. Now watch the wind fields start to expand as Ian, as a tropical storm, will start to push its way off that east coast of Florida uh, by Thursday. Look at that evening hours winds about 30 to 35 miles per hour. The tropical storm force winds may not arrive in our local area until sometime on Friday. So we think Friday is the day with the worst weather conditions across our area. Uh, winds potentially around 40 miles per hour may have a gust or two around 50, but this really hinges on that final track of Ian and by Saturday morning the winds will start to relax and you can go enjoy your weekend and hopefully there's not too much cleanup here across our area. Ian's impacts. We have adjusted this just a little bit east of I-95 rainfall totals three to five inches. Wind gusts 40 to 50 miles per hour. Coastal flooding possible and certainly with that you could get some sporadic power outages with the winds that uh, potentially may get upwards of 50 miles per hour. If you're inland, we've dropped the rainfall amounts a little bit since the center of Ian may stay just offshore or head its way north across our area. So the farther you go inland, Jeff Davis County, maybe Bacon County, you could be closer to an inch or two of rain, maybe even less than that if that trend to the east would continue. So we're all about focusing in on those impacts. We'll start to feel those, especially late Thursday and Thursday night. Friday is really the day, though, we'll have to watch. That rain could be heavy at times, and there will be some gusty winds across our area. Here's your certified most accurate forecast. We're tracking Ian with some high-impact weather days. The impacts start to build in here late Thursday, Thursday night, continue Friday, and then most of those are out of here very early on Saturday. Majority of your weekend is dry. The winds will start to relax, and by Sunday we'll say, hey, did that tropical system even get close to our area? At least hopefully that's what we're going to say. So Sunday, a great weather day, and then next week upper 70s to low 80s. But really it's all about tracking Ian and figuring out the impacts for your local area. And we got you covered in the free WJCL 20 to News app. It's a wealth of weather information. It's free.